like we love this place i don't know if you'll be able to see but there's dolphins in the background like right around there i don't know if they'll come up or not but we've seen dolphins every day we've been here and we come to this little beach yeah we're doing our youtube All right, also I'm gonna share our tips and tricks for beach days. Living in South Florida, you have to kind of get it down pat. Um, but something that's like revolutionized our life is this little cart here. And it's amazing. I know a bunch of people already had these, but I ended up just putting little snacks in there. And then I got this at the dollar store for all of our beach toys. And then we've got our chairs and my work stuff. Um, and then we always keep baby powder on hand for getting the sand off. And we also keep like a little vinegar spray bottle for jellyfish things if they ever happen. Um, so that's kind of our beach tricks, but that little cart has like saved us. It's awesome and amazing. We got it on Amazon. So I can put the link below, but it's like really great quality. It's what we use to move everything from our big house to our little house, literally in that. So it was awesome and we love it so much. And it's just, we're going to use it for laundry and stuff too in the RV. So it's super multi-use, but we would definitely recommend it. Let's try to do something like hand. Oh, like a cartwheel? Yeah. Go for it. tomorrow morning it's been an awesome amazing trip we have found some things that are broken in the RV that we didn't know about when we first bought it um, one is that there's a hole in the fridge so that's kind of a major one the other thing is that we're still learning the whole toilet thing with the RV so I was smelling something when I was opening this like laundry this is where the laundry can go but the laundry is not in there. It's just like extra storage. 
And so I kept smelling something like starting maybe yesterday afternoon, like starting to smell a little something. And then today we've started having these sewage issues and I'm not exactly sure why, but I've been doing some researching. Currently, I am going to try the boiling the water method to pour that down the tank. So now I'm going to just do it on the stove top. And so I went to get our little pot out because we don't have any big pots. And my wonderful husband, who I love so dearly, prepped some bananas for smoothies and forgot them in the pot. He put them all nice and neat inside the pot, which was in the cabinet. That was when we first packed, I think is when these came in there. So worst case scenario, they came in here Friday, but then we ended up not being able to leave Friday and we didn't leave Monday. Best case scenario, they've been in here since Monday, fermenting. So on the bright side, it didn't smell in there because of the toilet clog, because that would have been a much bigger issue had that been the case. So I am thankful for that. And this is really easy to get rid of that problem. I can just throw it away and walk into the dumpster. So I appreciate that he was trying to prep smoothies for us and maybe next time I'll try to check a little bit more why something is smelling. So good news and bad news, but I'll let you know how the boiling of the water goes with the clogs and what our finding is with that technique. So hopefully it's successful. We'll see. All right, we're gonna see if we can see any immediate relief. Gross. Nope. Poopy? That's not helping. Hey, poopy. Yeah, it looks really yucky, huh? Hmm? Okay. Well, this is not working for us. No, 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 no. Let's let it sit. A little bit, maybe. All right, let's see. Is it helping at all? And nope. Nope, definitely not helping. All right, so the jury is back from deliberation. And actually, the boiling water did work. So I was getting real annoyed with the whole situation. It smelled so bad in here. The children were not listening, like literally all the things. Literally it hit the fan, you know what I mean? Um, so I was like texting Jonathan, who's on that Zoom and telling him all the things that I tried and I was getting frustrated and he was like, it's fine, just leave it. Just stop trying, I'll do with it when I get home. So I was like, okay, sounds great. It's annoying me. He comes home, clean as a whistle. I think it probably took like 15 minutes because I kept like coming, like I maybe like, obviously you saw right away, it didn't work right away. Um, it got worse. And then um, I came back maybe five minutes later or eight minutes later and it, still nothing had really changed at all and then he came home maybe you know 20 minutes later so maybe you should wait 20 25 minutes which is actually a long time but seriously there's nothing in the toilet now so Jonathan just went out to go ahead and just try to empty it again I don't really know what that's gonna do so um yeah I fixed it with boiling water who knew so I feel good I'm happy I fixed it. So now we just have to let this smell evaporate a little more. That was really cool, Mama. That was really cool. Yeah.
Ah, let's say bye, bunny. We should learn all about horseshoe crabs since they're here and we see them all the time now. Did they are so big. Um, I think about their tails. I think their tails are poison. Oh wow. <laughs> Don't let him sting you. Can he sting Can you? Sting well he has all those pinchers. Don't let him like throw his barb back, you know? I mean, I don't know if that's a thing. Isn't that pretty cool, guys? Yeah. He's like trying to dig. Dig? Let's see if we can flip him over and see. Oh. Oh, wow, what do you think, guys? Crazy. Pretty neat, huh? I'm moving. He's moving. Look at all of his legs. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Don't let him get you. Making me nervous. <laughs> Pretty interesting, huh, guys? Cruz, you want to get closer? No, no. Can I, can I all right, we're going to put him back in the water, okay? Because he doesn't like it out of the water. Oh, no, he's not going to die. He's fine. It's cool to see him moving, though, huh? He's a big one, too. There he goes. Nice and safe and sound. He's like, get me out of here. Playing hide and seek, and mommy is going to search after Cruz. She's real into it. <laughs> Are you ready for your first leg of the trip? So ready. <laughs> so we're going to Ikea. We're going to Ikea. Oh gosh, it's gonna be, take us forever. Anyway, Kelsey is driving the first leg of our trip. I'll be in the FLF van and we're going to Ikea in Jacksonville and then on to Kurt Nanny in South Carolina. <laughs>